new video so today I'm going to be showing you how to get sort of like this playful spring going into summer look um, it is March I know it's only just March um, and I'm already kind of doing summery eyeshadows and stuff like that but I want to sort of pick up the game of colors and stuff like that so it will be a bit more colorful and a bit more summery um, but that's what I want to go for today. So it will be playing around with the pastel-y sort of cute colours with the bright, bold, strong, summery sort of colours that are very like, wow, out there sort of festival-like. Okay, so I've already cleansed and moisturised my face, which is the most important step. So what I'm going to do, because I have a fringe, I am going to go ahead and get my ratchet little hair band that I've had ever since I was eight years old. And I'm just going to slick my hair back so you guys can see my massive five head. Um, now I would recommend doing this even if you don't have a fringe because it just gets all the little hairs out of your face. I'm also going to go ahead and take off my earrings so then I don't get any product on them at all just in case if we were a bit messy. And I'm just going to put them on the side there. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, makeup wise, is put primer on my face. So I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Prime Time Primer. This is a brightening foundation primer and it is luminous. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put a little P of this on my finger and do little dots of it around my face, like so. And just rub it in. So now that we've done that, we are going to go ahead and get a flat brush, think like this, and I'm going to go ahead and get my concealer, which is this one here. <laughs> I was wondering where the hell that was. This is from Maybelline New York. It is the instant anti-age erase thing, concealer, and we are going to be putting this underneath our eyebrows. This is so then we have a nice even base for when we're putting the eyeshadow on. I'm just going to go ahead and grab my little mirror so I can see better and just going to put that concealer underneath my eyebrows. I'm just dragging it down so it's got to be the base for the eyeshadow. I bring it out just a little bit because if we are a little bit messy with the eyeshadow it's not going to affect when we're going to put our foundation on. We haven't go, got to go right up close the eye. I'm also just going to put a little bit of this underneath the eye as well because we'll be putting eyeshadow underneath the eye and we don't want to smudge it with our foundation that we might be putting on a little bit later on. we've done the concealing and everything we are going to go straight in with some colors so I'm gonna go ahead and get a flat brush something like this and I'm gonna be using the James Charles palette which is this one right here I've got the sheet and everything still so if you guys are following me at home you know which ones I'm gonna be using also it helps me you know <laughs> know which ones I'm gonna be selling you guys on what I'm using. The first colour that we are going to use is You're Kidding, which is a nice deep red. And I'm going to be putting this on my crease line, so around about here. All the way in. Mostly concentrating on the outside and the middle. But bring just a little bit in on the inner corners. if it's a little bit messy because we are going to be blending that out anyway. Okay. So like I said, we're going to go ahead and get a nice fluffy brush. I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. I 
Okay, so I think I am happy with this one. Then once we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and put it in Skip with my fluffy brush. This is the bright, bright pink that we have in the palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and go over where we put You're Kidding Me and put this over. It just brightens it up a little bit. That, I'm going to go in with single and I'm going to pack that on with a nice flat brush so I can find one. There we go. So I'm going to put this in single. I'm going to put blah, blah, blah. And we're going to be putting this on the inner corners to probably about three quarters of the way of our eye, but we're only going to be doing it on like the gap and a little bit on the top part of the lid. done that I am happy with it so, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put a flat brush again and I'm gonna put it in artistry and we're gonna go ahead and put that glittery purple over where we've just put our single on our lid and this is just to give it a little bit more of a pop of sparkle and color I'm now going to go ahead and get a flat brush like this, just a little bit smaller. It's already got my blue on it because it has dyed my <laughs> brushes. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with Playground and I'm going to be putting this underneath my eye. So just underneath here and we're going to like basically put it underneath our waterline and then drag it out just a little bit. and just lighten up this blue a little bit with hello so I'm gonna get a the same brush whatever but I'm gonna put the same brush in hello and go over playground just a little bit just to brighten it up a little bit more there we go now that we've done that the last thing I'm probably going to do on with just using the eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with a small little cornered brush like this. There's a small little cornered one. And I'm going to be putting this in So Good, which is the lovely highlight that James has very kindly put in there for us. And I'm going to be putting this on the inner corners of my eye. the two colours together almost like this is almost like a sunset and like the inner corner of the eye is like the sun I guess um, with the highlight that we're using and it just gives that off that sort of warm summery kind of feel that I have going on here sort of like the spring sort of like summers uh, the spring sort of um, What's the word? The, the spring, like morning sun with like the nice bright blue of like the summer. Okay, there we go. Now, just before we move on to the rest of the face, I'm going to go ahead and put on some lashes. Now, I have these really big volumizing lashes right here that I've got in front of Primark, only for like five pounds, which is amazing and there's glue that comes with them as well and I'm just going to go ahead and put these lashes on my top lashes and then I'm going to get a mascara and just put a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes just so then it doesn't look so heavy on the top Okay, 
Okay, now that we have finished with the eyes, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the eyebrows and then we're gonna go on with the rest of the face. So I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Paris uh, sort of like a gel thing, pen, I don't know. Um, it's basically a little pull like this and you've got the little brush here and I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my eyebrows. eyebrows I'm just going to go ahead with concealer and a flat brush and go around them okay so I kind of lied um, we do need one last thing for our eyes and that is just to get a small tiny brush like this one here and I'm going to go ahead and put this in ring light and we're just going to be putting it underneath the brows around about here okay so now that we've completely finished with the eyes I am now going to go ahead and now do the whole entire face so I'm going to go in with my Rimmel London Match Perfection um, foundation and this is in 10 light pristine i'm usually an ivory but i've kind of gone a bit paler and i kind of just want to color match myself not just go a bit darker and look like i've got um a mask on so i'm going to go ahead in with this shade i'm going to put it on the back of my hand and i'm just going to get myself a brush i'm just going to go ahead and get myself a nice fluffy brush and I'm going to be putting this on my face okay now that I've put that on with a brush I'm going to go ahead and get myself my beauty blender and I'm going to just buff this out Okay, now that we've done that, I'm going to go in with a concealer and I'm going to put this on the high points of my face. If you guys don't know what the high points of the face are, I'm literally just about to show you. So you've got your cheeks here, you've got the bridge of your nose, your forehead. I still do this even though I have a fringe. Cupid bow, chin jawline and then I'm gonna go ahead with my beauty blender and just blend this all out okay now that we have blended that all out I'm gonna go ahead and get my blush that is from George it is called blush queen and I'm just gonna get a lovely little brush not so little but fluffy and I'm just going to go pat that on there, pat the excess off because this blush is a very powerful and I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the apples of both my cheeks and bring it up just a little bit as well um, we're going to be making a fake bitch smile so then we know whereabouts the apples of our cheeks are so yeah and just bronze up my face and I'm going to be using the Hula Light um, bronzer and I'm going to be using a fluffy brush for that and we're going to be using circular motions to get like the best out of the product so I'm just going to contour my face with the bronzer here now with this product I'm really happy that like you can just like build up it's the same thing with the James Charles palette that you can just build up and build up and build up it's like Bob the Builder now you don't have to do this but I choose to I'm going to go ahead and just contour my nose because I have a big nose and 
I choose to contour it. But if you are happy with your nose, you don't have to do this step. Um, but this is how I personally do my contour for my nose. And I'm just contouring underneath my lip as well. This is to make a false shadow, almost like an illusion, because everybody knows that I have small white girl lips. So I'm just gonna make my lip a little bit bigger by doing this step. Then again, it is a personal choice. You don't have to do that step at all. It's just how I personally do my own makeup. So now I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush again. And I'm going to be putting this in my finishing powder. I think this finishing powder is from L'Oreal. I don't know because it's not on the front anymore because it rubs off. Which is really crap. So, yeah. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this all over my face. in with my setting spray this is from Rimmel London this is a fix and go it's a two-in-one primer and setting spray and I'm just going to give myself a quick spritz all over my face lovely I'm gonna grab my fan which I've had this for so long because I go to Spain to go visit my uh, my nan and my granddad and there's a market that goes on every single like Wednesday and nine times out of ten I always buy myself or always want to or my nan gets me a fan. Voila! And the last and final step I'm going to go ahead and get myself a lipstick brand called Unique. It is Splash and it is a liquid lipstick and I think it says here it's the one called Soulful as in Soulful, you know? Soulful, I know. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on my lips. Very last step, I am going to go ahead and put my fluffy brush and we are going to put it in ring light and we are going to highlight our face. final look i hope you guys enjoyed if you did then make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me also comment down below on what type of videos you want to see from me and the most important thing to do is to subscribe to this channel and to do that you'll need to press the red subscribe button which is down below and press on the bell so then you know when i have uploaded and press all so then you get all of my notifications so then as soon as i have uploaded you will be the first person to know about it so that is everything, so be nice, be good, and be grateful, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye my little bees.